Hello guys and welcome to another video. We are doing another wheel video and today we are seeing what my life would be like in the Shadow Hunters universe. Let's see who is the person that I meet first. Let's say I'm someone from the Spanish Institute, the one in Madrid, I believe there was one here, so that's perfect. And the first person I meet is Magnus Baby. So I don't recognize the characters from their pictures, but the names are on there, so that's why I chose them. And I read the Acorn of Immortality instead of Magnus Bane, and I was a bit worried. It was like, who the hell is the Acorn of Immortality? But now I know. So Magnus Bane is the first person I meet. That makes sense, because he probably like helped portal me to the whatever institute I'm in in the United States. So that makes sense. Magnus Bane is a pretty cool character, although I have not read his trilogy. Let me know if you've read it and if it's any good, because I like Magnus Chase He's more of a side character than a main character. But with that, let's see who my first friend is. Let's remind ourselves that it's my first friend, not necessarily my best friend, unless it's a good answer. And it's Simon Lewis. Okay, okay. He is a great first friend to have. And I feel like out of the whole cast, he would probably be the most welcoming, especially since he was a mundane for most of the series. He knows what it's like to be an outcast. So he would be like, I got you, I'll show you around, I'll teach you the ropes. So that's a great friend to have. Let's see who my best friend is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Max Lightwood, oh my god. So, mm, not the best best friend to have. I think this is a spoiler for the third book in the Mortal Instruments series, but definitely for the first series, so if you haven't read it, look away. Uh, but Max dies. It's, it's like a whole thing. He dies and his brother and his sister are devastated, and then his brother names one of his kids after him, so it's intense. So the fact that Max Lightwood is my best friend, I don't know what that says about me. Probably that I'm younger than the rest of the cast, because if not, then it's weird that I'm hanging out with like, what was he, 10 years old? He has a special place in my heart, but we'll, we'll stick to Simon Lewis as my best friend. <laughs> let's just go with that. And let's see now who is my roommate, because we're at a very cramped institute. Not everyone fits, so we have to share rooms with Jesse Blackthorne. Oh my god. So for some reason, spoiler alert for the latest series, I have no clue what it's called. Jesse is also dead, <laughs> but at least he's not like permanently dead, like Max was. He is dead, but he's a ghost. So there's that. In these wheel videos, why do I always end up rooming with a ghost? Or someone who wants to kill me, it's like one of the two. Now let's move on to who is my first crush? I'm new, everything is exciting, and I meet this person, I'm like, oh my god, they are incredible. I could follow them forever, and that is Tiberius Blackthorn. Ty Blackthorn. Mmm. <laughs> okay, I love Ty. He is one of my favorite characters from that trilogy. But he is not someone I would ever have a crush on because he is <laughs> a child. Well, he's like 14. Why am I like gravitating towards the younger characters on this wheel? There's like immortal characters here, but no, I'm gravitating to the ones that are 10 or 14. Let's just say I'm about his age and I can't, I could never have a crush on Tyler because I ship him so hard with Kit. So maybe this is before I, I've, I've learned of the existence of Kit. And I'm like, oh, oh, never mind, never mind. They, they go much better than we could ever. It's just like, an instant crush, but then it's like, no, because he's so smart, but at the same time, it's like, no, 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 this, this could never happen, I'm sorry. Now we get to the really juicy one, and one of my favorites, who, who hates me? This one is also always fun, because then it happens to be like my sibling, my significant other, the one who has a crush on me, and the person who hates me is Thomas Lightwood. Oh, what kind of horrible person do I have to be? for Thomas Lightwood, of all people, to hate me. Have I, like, interfered with his relationship? I don't know, I guess we'll have to see for this plot to make sense, because I, I like Thomas. Like, what? I'm sorry. I haven't even insulted your family yet. I, I haven't gotten any Lightwoods. Well, I did get Max. Is that why? Because I'm the best friend 
of your descendant. I don't know. Let's keep going. So, one of my favorites. Who is my significant other? We know who my crush is, but that's long gone. That, that happened, and then we moved on. But who is my current significant other? Julian Blackthorne. Oh my god! So I moved from a younger Blackthorne to the most chaotic, problematic Blackthorne there has ever been. I don't know, that's a pretty broad statement. The Blackthorns are a messy family. What kind of mindset do I have to be in to go out with Julian Blackthorne? Uh, he's probably using me as a beard. No, he's not gay, but like, in order for people to think that he's not in love with Emma. So maybe we're fake dating. That's it. We are fake dating. I don't know what I'm getting out of this relationship, but we are fake dating in order to make Emma jealous and also in order for people not to think that he is in love with Emma, which he very much is and very obviously so. The next question is extremely relevant in the Shadowhunter series because everyone is related to everyone. It's very hard to keep the incest tracked. Uh, that's why I also don't recommend the series to people who are not ready, like already deep, deep in it because incest vibes. But um, once you're already in it, you can't climb out of the hole. Who is my sibling? Hopefully not a Blackthorn because that would ruin this whole plot. Simon Lewis, oh my God. Okay, so my first friend, is my sibling, which is just sad overall, but uh, better than my significant other. So I guess it's a win. And since we are already talking about family, let's see who is my mother figure. I usually do this in just like a parental figure, but let's do a mother figure and let's do a father figure. My mother figure is actually a woman and it's Clary Frey. This is kind of weird because Clary, <laughs> Clary and Simon dated. And Simon is my brother, but Clary is my mother figure. What does that mean? I could see Clary being a mother figure because she's very caring, very loving, and she could be my mentor. She's been through a lot, let's face it. But now let's see who my father figure is. This one is always the most turbulent of the two. Let's see. Oh, it's another woman, Cecile, Cecily Herondale. I don't think I ever liked her. I don't remember much about her, but I remember being like, meh. Um, I don't know how this wheel makes sense because these people are all like from different time periods, different eras, and some of them that are from a different time period are immortal, so they could still be around today, but most of them are <coughs> So am I just going around meeting ghosts everywhere or are we all in like a time loop where we're all existing at the same time. Who knows? Okay, so ignoring my hair situation right now, let's see who is secretly in love with me. We know who I had a crush on, but we, we don't count that one. So who is actually in love with me? It's not going to be Julian Blackthorne. It's going to be Rafael Santiago. Oh, interesting. So as you may well know, he is an ace character. A fellow ace is in love with me, that's so cute. Okay, I can kind of see that. And we could speak Spanish together, so that's perfect. Oh, that's so cute, okay. Don't remember currently if he's alive or dead. Not important, not relevant in the Shadowhunter universe, as you can see, because all my friends are dead, or ghosts, or both, so. Now let's see who thinks I'm annoying. If it's Raphael, then that would track with every single other wheel I've done. And it's Clary Faye. <laughs> of course, the person who I see as a mother would think I'm annoying. We need to go to the therapy. <laughs> In every wheel I've done, I'm like, this character, if this was someone's life, they would need to go to therapy like every day or at least like three times a week. Mummy issues right there. Moving on, let's see who is my no TP. This is one of my favorite things to do for the wheel. My no TP is composed of, first of all, we have Lucy Herondale. Okay, so I neither love nor hate her. She's just like there, although in the last book, mm, she's been a little bit, uh. So Lucy Herondale and I don't think I have any evil characters on here. So I'm gonna have to really Hate the pairing. <laughs> this has never happened before. It, it's, it's literally 
literally a cannon ship. This is literally a cannon ship. This has never happened before for no TP or for the OTP wheel. I mean, I'm not in love with a ship or anything, but I don't hate it. I kind of dislike what it's doing to Lucy's character. Like, I don't like that all of her character arc revolves around her trying to save Jesse because she's in love with him. This has never happened before. I've never gotten an actual cannon ship for an, an OTP or an OTP. On that great note, let's see who my actual OTP is. I don't think I can get any better than that, but let's see. We have Matthew Fairchild. Okay, so the options could either be me, and that's it. I mean, maybe with James. I I don't know. They, they have the best friend chemistry. It's really good. I don't 100% ship him with Cordelia. I think they're cute, but I just ship James from Cordelia way too much. So let's see who we ship Matthew with. Christopher Lightwood. Wait, 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 wait. Are they cousins though? I think they might be cousins. <laughs> so I can't wait. This would be an OTP for Cassandra Clare because she obviously loves that kind of stuff. <laughs> but for me personally, why did I get the OTP? That should have been an OTP and an OTP that is an OTP. <laughs> Moving on from the incest. I, I think that's what <laughs> Clary must say every time she finishes writing a Shadowhunter book. It's like, Moving on from the incest. Now let's see who my worst enemy is, it might be Clary, because apparently I have great mommy issues, so that would track. But my worst enemy is Diego Rosales. I don't think I've done anything that would offend him, personally, but there, you know, there's still time. Maybe it's because there's a rivalry between my Spanish-speaking institute and his Spanish-speaking institute. We will never know, but okay, he is my enemy. Good to know, at least it's not my literal mom. But let's see who my soulmate is. I I kind of want to get Raphael because I thought that was very cute that I got him before. I, but this wheel, this freaking wheel literally hates me. I can't say anything. I can't do anything. I've never gotten one person twice in a row. Maybe, maybe James Potter, but he was a special case and he was a good case, you know? Not like this. Not like this. So the person who is my enemy is also my soulmate, which, okay, we could turn this around. We can spin this. Enemies to lovers, anyone, any takers. Okay, he's my enemy though. He doesn't hate me. That's, those are two different things. That's important. I don't remember who hated me, but at least they're not my soulmate. Okay, so he might be my enemy because we're like on opposite sides of the war, but Starcross lovers, anyone? He might not want to be my enemy. Let's go to a more fun one, okay? Uh, who who cheats on me with Jace Herondale? Because if someone was going to cheat on me, I think it would be with Jace Herondale. Because, have you seen that man? And it's Diana. Ooh. First of all, why am I dating this full-blown adult? And second of all, why is she dating Jace Herondale? I guess Jace, by the end, by the time that we meet Diana, He's older, but still weird. Okay, so I'm glad you cheated on me because you're a bit too old for me, I think. I don't want to be treating her like she's super old and then she's like 25 and I'm 23, but she's older, right? She, she can take care of the kids, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say she's older. Yeah, <laughs> I think, I don't know. I don't... Every time I do one of these videos, I'm like exposing myself for having a terrible memory for remembering people's names and ages and anything related to the character. <laughs> it's been like five years since I read the trilogy she was in, so don't come at me. We have two left, so let's see who stabs me in the back. This would work better if it's someone who I know, so someone who I've gotten in the wheel before, and it it is not Ariadne. Okay, have I done anything to offend her? I don't think so. This wheel is just all over the place. Might be due to the fact that there are 40 characters on this wheel, but I guess I know her. I guess I do. Maybe it's just because uh, she knows both Matthew and Christopher and that they're cousins and the fact that I ship them makes her disgusted, which fair enough. And then we have who actually kills me. This is always a fun one. Please, 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 please let it be Clary. That, that would just be incredible. And it's Lucy. Oh, it's because she's my no TP, isn't it? Mm. 
fair enough as well. Uh, I would also get mad if someone didn't ship me with my soulmate, especially if I anti-ship them. But since this is a Cassandra Clare thing we're doing, let's see who I'm in a love square with. Because love triangles, they're not enough anymore for Cassandra Clare and her series. It has to have at least four points, if not more. So we're doing a love square. Uh, obviously I'm one of the points, so we're getting three people for this. This is a bonus question that I just came up with. And we have Julian Blackthorne, of course he was going to pop up in this again. Okay, you angsty boy, let's see who we are in the square with. It would be a great time to get Emma. So, fingers crossed. Jace Wayland, that is weird. Okay, so it's me and two guys for now. Will it just be a heron for me? We'll find out. Let's see who the other point in our square is. Let's see, it's another dude, oh my god, <laughs> Matthew Fairchild. So it's just me and a sausage fest, which is great. It's great. I don't know why, how I fell into this love square, what happened? Obviously, Julian and I were fake dating, so let's see what happened from there. Maybe because I like Matthew, okay, he he's the one that I would date out of them. Maybe I like Matthew and I'm trying to make him jealous with Julian. I don't know what Jace, I don't know what where Jace comes into this equation because I see his girlfriend as my mother figure. So, uh, and I'm pretty sure he has to be somehow related to one of the two because, I mean, Fairchild, Matthew is related to Clary. I can't keep up with the families in the Shadowhunter world. The three guys are probably all related to each other, so. So that is everything for today's wheel. I think we got a pretty, pretty standard wheel, not like a grid wheel, but not like a horrible wheel. Might be because I didn't put any of the villains in it. Might have forgotten. Who knows, I, I made the wheel a long time ago, so I didn't remember what characters I did put in and what characters I didn't put in, so my bad, but that is fine. Leave a like if you like this video. Comment down below what you got when playing this wheel and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm sure this video about incest in the Shadowhunter world probably makes you want to subscribe if you've if you've got into this part of the video. So uh, click that bell notification while you're at it to make sure you get notifications every time I post another video. I post videos every single Monday on this channel and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!